Hi, Amanda here, Taizo's Esthetician, and today I'm going to show you how to calculate what percentage of the sun's rays are being blocked by your SPF. It's important that we first discuss that the SPF value represents only the coverage of UVB rays. That's why you should always look for a sunscreen that is broad spectrum, meaning it provides protection against UVB and UVA rays. Believe it or not, no SPF can block 100% of the sun's rays, not even an SPF 100. There's a simple math equation that you can use to figure out how much coverage you are getting from your sunscreen. 100 divided by the SPF value will equal X. 100 minus X will give you the percentage of coverage that your sunscreen is giving you. Let's start with an SPF value that was popular in the 80s and 90s, SPF 8. 100 divided by 8 equals 12.5. 100 minus 12.5 equals 87.5%. An SPF 8 is only blocking 87.5% of damaging UVB rays. That's a lot of rays that are still managing to get through and into your skin. It's just not enough. So following that same equation, an SPF 30 would give you 96.97% coverage. An SPF 40 would give you 97.5% and an SPF 100 would give you 99% coverage. With that 99% comes a trade-off though. In order to obtain SPF 100 plus, manufacturers need to combine a number of chemical filters in high quantities. Using substantially more chemical sunscreens on your body to get as little as 1.5% more coverage just isn't worth it. Making sure that your sunscreen is mineral and it is at least an SPF 30 is so important. For more information on UVA and UVB coverage in mineral versus chemical sunscreens, check out the link below. And as always, if you have any questions about anything covered in this video or to tell us what you want us to cover next time, please leave a comment below or feel free to reach out to us directly at info at Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.